Now is the time of truth. Let's make an decision and get in there. Oh. Oh. A smell. Plastic. <sighs> Fermented plastic. Revolting. This is so hard. It's so difficult to pull this out. Just knots and knots of stuff. My goodness me. We're going to have to do little bits at a time. Yeah. Look at that. All of that is plastic. Mixed with all the fermentation juices of her stomach, the plastic had melded together in huge clumps, and it was a mission to pull it out. There's so much plastic, it's totally full. And it's a real job just to get this stuff out because it seems to be all stuck to the insides of the stomach. With perseverance, I finally got beneath a big matted knot, and from there, it just kept coming and coming. It was far more than I expected and must have been building up for months. Look at this. All of this here, plastic. All that yellow, just, just plastic. Can I eat it? And that's just a tiny part of what we're going to get out of her. I've never seen anything like this. It's, it's astounding. This poor animal so choking on plastic. I think it speaks for itself. I'm getting my hand completely inside the cow's stomach because I want to make sure I get every single bit of knotted plastic out. If you're gonna do a job, we gotta do it properly. No matter how disgusting. Now, cow's stomachs, they depend on bacteria and a certain pH in order to work. So, if I take all the contents out, the cow will go into shock and the stomach won't contract or work properly. Not that it's working very well at the moment, full of plastic. But the idea is that I'm going to wring this out and keep these important juices and these bacteria, and I'm actually going to put them back into the cow to kickstart its digestion. And these juices have to go back into the rumen now, and the rumen is a powerhouse for the cow, and it needs bacteria within it to work. After refueling the cow with its own vital stomach acids, the final part of the surgery was to stitch her back up and disinfect the wound. <laughs> probably need more than a bit of blue spray to beat the infection in there, but we'll put on some antibiotics and she'll be fine. Let's see how much plastic was in her. So this bucket weighs three kilos, and that is looking like 17, which means we've removed 14 kilos worth of plastic from that poor cow's stomach. Now, we're not going to change the world with this kind of thing. That's tip of the iceberg, and we've got to keep that cow now away from the rubbish, or she'll just go back up there and just eat more plastic, and we won't have done any good at all. But it just goes to show that, really, the waste that we produce as humans, and we just throw all this plastic down, that it doesn't just look and smell horrible, but it affects everything. It affects all the animals around us as well. And that's just heartbreaking.